everyone, today we're reading The Adventures of Captain Underpants, the first ec epic novel by Day Pilkey. Now this is really cool. Let's look at this book. It says The Adventures of Captain Underpants. If you like action, wheels, and laughs, you're gonna love you're gonna fall in love with this book. And if you haven't seen the movie yet, go check that out and flip this book for uh, amazing stories. And we got Captain Underpants smiling, George and Harold screaming. We got it by Dave Pilkey. And so what it is, a 4.7. That's easy. Look to the side, you'll see Adventures of Captain Underpants. Then you got this front cover. So let's go ahead and get started. The Adventures of Captain Underpants. The first epic novel by Dave Pilkey. If you like action, thrills, and laughs, you're going to fall in love with this book. The Adventures of Captain Underpants, Tra-la! The first epic novel by Dave Pilkey. Got our chapters. A dolphin, if you, if you don't see him right there. Chapter 1, George and Harold. Meets George Bean and Harold Hudson. George the kid on the left with the tie and the flat top. Harold is the one with the right on the t-shirt and the bad haircut. Remember that now. George and Harold were best friends. They had a lot in common. They lived next door to each other, and they were both in the fourth grade class at James Hall Elementary School. George and Harold usually were respect, respectful kids. When anything bad happened, George and Harold were always responsible. But don't get this wrong about it. These two nice boys when were everybody's good, sweet, and lovable. Okay, maybe not good and not uh, not they were sweet but not lovable. They were good. Notice. George and Harold each had a sneak. Marching along unusually, the sticky had a controller to something into the big trouble and got into one big trouble. Before I can tell you that story, I have another story to tell you. Chapter 2, Treehouse Comets. After a long day... Of after a long day of cracking jokes, pranks, and crushing a major at school, George and Hill like to rush the at their old at the treehouse in George's backyard. Inside the treehouse were two old fluffy chairs, tables, chip boards, and comets, just like food and a proto chest of all of sheet of paper now Harold loves to draw and George likes to make up stories and together the two boys spent hours and hours writing their very own comic book over the years there's, com there's hundreds of comics starting they're the favorite series. The first was Dogman, then came Tummy, then came the Talking Toys, and who could forget the uh, amazing Cow Lady? But there's the greatest superhero they ever. The amazing Captain Underpants. George came up with an idea. Most heroes look like they are flying around in underwear, he said. Well, this guy flies around in his underwear. The two boys laughed and laughed. Yes, yeah, said Harold. He could ha he could fight with his wing power. George and Harold decided on after drawing the comments, the best the cap the Captain Underpants was the coolest superhero ever. The lucky boys did the lucky boys decided that the whole elementary school was too busy to keep an eye on so many copies. A, 
they, when they got a chance, they snuck into the office and printed hundreds of copies of the last adventures of Cat and Underpants. After Sula sell them, they they sold their playground for each for fifty cents. Soon we'll be reading Chapter Three: The Adventures of Captain Underpants. Well, there's only one thing to say. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, you guys should subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.